Since the ocean is an even better conductor than the ground, and the loss tangent for the ocean is so large, we can see here that the results are basically identical for a PEC versus an ocean SIBC. Meaning that for propagation over the ocean, we can get away with just using a PEC. Although for mixed propagation paths, it will be easier to just use the SIBC everywhere, so it works over land as well as over the ocean. Now, one thing to note here, we did not validate our SIBC formulation. We can see here that as we model a better and better conductor, the results converge to those for a PEC. And that is satisfying, but it doesn't actually validate our SIBC algorithm. In order to fully validate, we would need to compare results for a brute force model, modeling directly into the ground, versus the SIBC results. We're not going to go to the trouble of fully validating the SIBC algorithm in this class, but it would be an important step for us to complete if we were going to continue this work. There are many more things we could investigate in relation to the ground-based geolocation system, but at least now we have a basic idea of how such a system might work, and we've been able to predict how the waves will propagate around the world. If you wanted to investigate this further, what ideas can you come up with to further improve our FDTD model to incrementally make it more and more realistic and to investigate different scenarios?